Hello everyone, my name is Callum and welcome to a 60s state of per minute guide. I would like to mention at the very beginning of this video that this isn't my build, this is a YouTuber called Scotty's build and I'll have his channel link in the description down below. So let's get straight into things you're going to need for this build. You're going to need 240 copper, 270 coal and 270 iron. On top of this you're going to need a minimum power requirement of 408. The reason why it's a minimum power requirement is because this isn't including any kind of miners and everyone's situation is going to be very different. If you have an impure node, you might have to overclock it. And if you have a pure node, you're going to need less miners, therefore using less power. On top of this, you're going to need the resources to make 8 smelters, 6 foundries, and 25 constructors, and 12 assemblers. I'll have all this in the channel description down below. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and possibly subscribe if you want to see more guys like this. Let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you're going to do is set out a 5x11 foundation that goes one deeper into the floor. We're going to set up three single wall conveyors, one here, one in the middle over here, which is going to be our coal, that one's going to be our iron, and this one's going to be our copper. So once you build that, we can get straight into the build. The first thing we're going to do is get a single wall conveyor and we're going to place four of these just like so and then you're going to do the same on the opposite side over here and then from here we're going to get uh, two wall conveyors normal wall, two wall, normal wall, two wall and the exact same on the opposite side two wall, two wall, two wall and I just fill all these in with normal And these side wall, uh, these side bits here, can all just be normal walls as well. From here, you're going to build the foundations. You're just going to get eight by ones, and just bring it all the way across, just like so. So, once you build the foundations, we're just going to go straight on to building uh, smelters and foundries. So, from here, because it's on a two wall conveyor, we're going to place our foundries and we're going to build three on each side. For our foundries, we want to make sure that they're uh, going off by as pretty much as much as they'll go. So, just like this. It seems like it's going completely off, but this is what we want, just so the, uh, the conveyor lifts can go straight from there into there. We're just going to build three of these, and, uh, and here, and then do the exact same on the opposite side. From here, we're going to do the uh, smelters. Very similar thing over here. I'm just going to make sure it's in the center of the foundation, and make sure it's po poking off just by one. So just like this, I'm just going to make sure that's in the center. Yep, and it's going to place eight of these for here. I'm going to make sure it's centered. And then for on the opposite side. So once you've done the foundries and smelters, we can do all the belt work. You can use conveyor lift mark ones all the way across here, but just for easiness, I'm just going to be using Mark 3s throughout this entire build. I will try and mention when you can use um, different marks, but I will be using Mark 3s just to make things a bit easier. Is that this? So as you can see, seeing as we have the foundries poking off just quite a bit, they're going straight into the wall without any more belt work needed. So, when you're done all the belt work, we're just going to go underneath and do the rest of the belt work. So, we're going to start off with the iron first. So, the best way to do the iron is to split it straight away. If I go to here, so just as soon as you can, 
you want to make sure it's in the middle of the foundation. Just like this. Oh. Just like so. And then you're going to bring it to, it can really be left or right, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to bring it to this right one and poke it out like this. So it's just in the corner. And we're going to bring out our lifts just like this. Make sure that they're all in the same bit. Like that. All pointing in. Then it's going to belt this all up. Just like so. Then this can route all the way back to here. Just like that. And I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing on the opposite side. So once the iron's done, we're just going to do a very similar thing for the coal. So we're just going to go around to the opposite one here. We're going to place a splitter on the other bit instead. So it's now going to be on this corner instead of that. And this way, when we place our lift, it's still going straight in just like this. And we're just going to place more conveyor lifts here and here. And then just going to belt this in just like so. I'm just going to repeat this on the opposite side. I'm just going to place this another splitter in the middle. Belt these up. And I'm going to bring this coal around like so just like so so that's all the belt work done for the iron and coal I just need to finish off this bit here and now it's for the copper so I also just realized that I've made a mistake you need to make sure you leave enough space for the conveyor lifts. So I'm going to bring this in much closer. You want it's probably going to be better off when, if it's not um, perfect 90 degree, but this way it does mean that we have space for this. You might be able to fit it. You just have to try. So the copper is very simple. All we're going to do is get a splitter, place it in between both of these in the middle, just like so. Place more splitters here and here. And then in between both of these, we're going to split it in like so. Make sure it's on the corner piece of the foundation. And then in between both of these again. From here, we're just going to get conveyor lifts. Put them in through this. And oh. belt in just like this. And then just repeat the same thing on the opposite side. So that's how the belt work down here complete. I'm just going to go back up and finish the belt work from top. So we're going to complete our belt work for up top. So we're going to start off with the copper first. First of all, the first thing you want to do is set all these two copper ingots. Just like so. And then we're just going to do a very simple overflow. Just gonna merge it this way. And just bring it to the very edge. You just wanna make sure you bring the conveyor belt just to the corner there. And the belt all up. And 
just like so. That's this side done. And then we're going to get a very similar thing, but just for this side. So we're going to bring it off this way. So make sure it's facing that. Just going to put them directly in front of the foundries. Just like so. I'm just going to build all this up. You don't really need this one. I'm just going to show you what I mean by you don't need it. Just so it all goes up to the very corner. You don't need any additional belt work for this corner bit just because it's already on the edge. So that's this floor complete. We're just going to go to the next floor. So because we can't put any foundations on any of these parts here, we do have to go onto the side. You're just going to get your foundation 8 by 4 and we're going to, f because it's all not on this floor, it does have to be 5 high. And I'm going to have to do it on the opposite side. So I'm just going to get a foundation 8 by 4 and place them 5 high, just like so. We're going to get our foundations 8 by 1, place it on the very top bit here, and build it 4 down. And then from here, what we're going to do is get rid of the middle two and all of these. So this way we have this sandwich layer here. And we're just going to build this all the way across, but first I'm just going to get up first. The best way to get up is ladders. Uh, you can get these in the awesome shop, I think, for two tickets. Very cheap. I'm just going to go all the way up. And we're just going to build this all the way across. Something to note is that you will want to place both of these floors before you do any belt work. Because if you was to decide to place any splitters or mergers underneath here, you wouldn't be able to place the second foundation. So once you finish the sandwich layer, we're going to do the walls. The best way to do the walls are to go out by one. You're going to place four single wall conveyors here and then do the same thing on there and then repeat on the opposite side. The best way to do it is just to get your single wall conveyor, place it above and then below. I'm just going to do this four times. Get rid of this top one, slide through, go underneath again, and then just place normal wall here and then repeat fall. This side can be all just normal walls as we won't be using this bit just yet. You will have to go out and repeat like this. And then we're going to get a single wall conveyor like this. And then for this last bit, we're going to get a single wall foundation, sorry, single wall conveyor, just like so. Then fill in both these bits with no walls. Actually, before I fill this in, you want to place your constructors first and do all the belt work. So this is very simple. It's just I'm going to do uh, eight, uh, sorry, well, it's four, miss a bit, and then far again, and then repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Very simple. And once again, you want to make sure that it's hanging off just by a little bit, just like so. And obviously, so it's in the middle of the foundation. This way, when we go to do our belt work, it's just going straight off. I'm just going to check that this is right quickly. Yeah, so you can tell because it will do this little click sound. And that's how you know that it's just going to go straight into the next floor. So I'm just going to repeat this for the four 
and then do 16, no, 16, eight times. So once you build the constructors, we're just going to do the belt work up here. I'm just going to simply get a merger and bring it from here. And let's do two mergers all the way across. You don't need a merger here as they can just belt straight into there. I'm just going to do the, this belt work here and then I'll repeat it on the opposite side. As well, one thing you know, one thing to note is we're going to have to bring this to this very con here. Turns out I'm going to have to get some more steel beams before I do this side, so I'm going to go and get that, and I'll be back. So, now I've got the steel beams, I'm just going to repeat the same thing that we did over here on the opposite side. So, once you build all this belt work, we're just going to go back around to do all the rest of this belt work here for the lifts. So once you've finished all the belt work up here, we're just going to make sure that we complete all the lifts for the constructors. So I'm going to do that now. So once you've done the conveyor lifts, we're just going to go down to the next floor. So from here, the first thing you're going to want to make sure you do is set up the conveyor lift here. Let's bring up the copper ingots, just like so. And then you can just fill in this wall. So what we need to do here is set up a 1 by 16 uh, overflow method. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to bring it into the middle here, get our splitter facing into the middle build one right beside it, just like so. And from here, this part's quite important, is we're going to need to get Mark 1 conveyor belts for here and here. And then from here, the rest is just quite simple. I'm just going to get a split and bring it to here and here. Oh. I was wrong. It needs to go a bit further back. There and there. Same thing on the opposite side. Just like so. And we're just going to fill in the spell work here. So, all you need to do is repeat what we've done here, over here. So, all we're doing is we're just repeating what we've done on here right here and it's up. And then all you're going to do is you're going to get the Mark 2 connect here to here and that's all about work done. So we're just going to go to the next floor. So the first thing we're going to do is build our next sandwich layer. So for this, you're just going to get your foundation, build it three high because the constructors are quite small. Foundation ones, and just like we did before, remove these and fill in this all the way to the edge. So once you finish the sandwich layer, we're just going to go underneath and do the walls. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to get a single wall conveyor up here to bring up our steel. So we're just going to get our walls, single wall conveyor. And then for this bit here, we're going to get another single wall conveyor. And we're going to bring this all the way across. But first, you want to make sure that you've belted this up. Just like so. 
and this is just going to go all the way across. I think it's nine constructors. So just like this. And then the rest of the walls can just be normal. I'm just going to leave one gap and go to the next floor. So from here it's really simple, we're just going to place our nine constructors all the way on this one side. And you once again want to make sure that it's hanging off by just a little bit, just like so. From here you just want to finish the belt work. So now we're going to do the belt work down here. It's really simple. All we're going to do is get a splitter and then split it one through nine. So we're just going to make sure that it's in the middle of this foundation because if it's any closer, it won't work. And we're going to do that for three. So that's three, the next three, and the next three. And then we're going to place another splitter in this middle bit here, just like so. We're going to connect these together and What's about open? It's just from here to here, and to there. And that's about work done. Very simple. Now we're going to go on to the next floor. So the belt work up here. All we're going to do is going to go to the center constructor, which is this one. And we're going to get a splitter, and we're going to face it off going both ways. Just like this. I want to make sure it's in the middle as well. And we're just going to get mergers and bring them to each edge. From here, we're just going to build all this up. Also, you want to make sure it's at the very edge. So once you've done the belt work, we're just going to build our next sandwich layer. So the sandwich layer is a little bit different because we're going to make sure that it's too wide on the inside and you'll see why in a minute. So we're just going to get our foundation and even though the constructors are only three high, we're going to go four high instead, just like so. And we're going to get a single foundation and build it eight times like this. And we're going to get rid of the middle six and these ones. So now we have a ultra wide sandwich layer here and we're just going to fill this in like normal. So once you finish the sandwich layer, we're just going to go and do the walls. So the first thing we're going to do with the walls is we're going to get no walls and bring it all the way around this top bit, just like this. You can use that to do easy off it, just like this. So this bit might be a little bit complicated, but we're just going to place our two wall conveyors on these corner bits here. And same thing on the opposite side. And then we're going to place them here and here on these walls here. So we're just going to go like for one side is three in when you place one. And then on the opposite side is also three in. Just gonna get two more conveyors, just like so. And the rest of the walls can just be filled in. Oh, wait, no, I lied. So you wanna fill these corner bits in. This side is going to be a single wall conveyor, and the opposite side is gonna be a double wall conveyor. And the rest can just be normal walls. So 
the first few games we're going to do is we're going to go out here and bring in what we need. So we're just going to get a lift, put it there, and then the opposite side, we're going to bring the copper wire, I think it is. Just like so. And we're going to go on top and place our assemblies. So we're just going to place the assemblies in the same place as before. So you might have to try and remember it, but it's going to be two on this corner bit. Once again, you want to make sure it's hanging off by just a little bit. Just like so. Just so it's enough. Uh, our conveyor lift will snap like this. I'm just going to do this here and here. And same thing on the opposite side. Just like so. And then we're going to place our next assemblers right in front. Just want to leave one gap. And once again, make sure it's hanging off. That's too much. Just like so. And then same thing on this bit here. And then we're just going to connect the lifts. So, that's the bell work done for up here. We're just going to go back down and finish the bell work down here. So the bell work down here is relatively complicated because we will be using foundations. But the first thing we're going to do is get a splitter, bring it straight to this first part here from the middle and just connect it like so. And we're going to get this splitter. You want to make sure it's lined up with these pots here. So it's just at the start of the foundation here. Connect it up. And it's just going to go to each side like so. And then the foundation, there's another splitter here. Similar thing, just at the start of the foundation and connect it up. And then this is just going to connect into there. Actually, I think you can do it from this one if you want. It does make things look a little nicer if you was to do it right. Just like so. And we're just going to make sure that we build this up. And then we're going to do the wiring. The Yeah, it's a couple wires. So the first thing we're going to do is get a foundation and put it on this wall here and bring it across. We're going to place a splitter in the middle of the start of the foundation on both sides, just like so. And it's just going to connect straight up like this. So, first thing is these are just going to go straight into these corner bits. Like so. And then this is going to go off for both sides. And these are just going to go all the way across, but we're going to place conveyor lift. Sorry, a conveyor, stackable conveyor poles. So these can just go into the middle bits. Like so, and stack all conveyor poles. It doesn't really matter where you put these, just as long as it can bring it over to the other side. I'm going to place it here and here. I'm just going to connect like this. Uh, 
and that's the bell work done. Uh, if you want, you can get rid of these foundations. I personally prefer getting rid of them, just because it makes things a bit look a bit cooler when they're flowing, and it gives you resources back. So for this bit, we're just going to repeat what we've done here. We're not actually going to belt these up just yet. We're going to repeat exactly what we've done just then above one more time. So we're going to get our foundations. I'm going to speed this bit up in a minute. Just going to tell you the things that you need to know. Just going up by four. I'm going to get the single wall, not the single wall conveyor, uh, the eight by one, if I can jump on here. I think it's easier to jump on this side bit. I'm just going to place these once again, eight down instead, like so. Get rid of the middle ones, the middle six, these two, and here. We're just going to fill this in. So the only difference between this floor and the other floor is that on this bottom floor here we had the two wall conveyor. We're just going to swap it round. So on this side it's going to be a single wall conveyor, like so. And then on the opposite side it's going to be a double wall conveyor. Other than that everything else is the exact same, so I'm just going to skip to that point in the video. So once you replicate the exact same thing on the next floor. We're going to start doing all the belt work. You can do this any way you want really, but the way that I'm going to be doing it and the way I'd advise it is you just connect all of these like this. And you want to make sure that these are going off to the edge where you didn't place constructors. Remember we placed uh, nine constructors on this side. We want to place on the opposite side. So just going to connect like this. I'm just going to place another merger here going off. And I'm just going to balance this up. Just like so. You want to make this go to the very edge. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to get a conveyor left mark 3 go down a floor, make sure it's poking out plenty, and we're pretty much going to repeat the same thing but with one extra merger. So for this bit, what we're going to do is we're going to place another merger facing off this way just like so, and then another merger facing off that way. I'm just going to connect these together and complete the, the rest of the belt work. So from here, we're going to place a conveyor lift 3, and we're going to be facing it this way, just like so. I'm just going to connect these together, put a belt on the very edge, just like so. We get a conveyor lift mark 3, and let's bring this all the way down to the very bottom, just like so. Actually, we're going to hold up on that because I didn't plan this out the best. So, I'm just going to have to get rid of these conveyor lifts here and this wall. Gonna have to get rid of these conveyor lifts too. We're gonna to place a mark, a conveyor lift three here instead, and then a conveyor lift going from it should connect all the way down, just like so. Connect these together. 
go into the building. I'm just gonna place another lift like so. Bring this down as well. So now we have all the stairs coming from this way, all the way from the top. So there's now a couple things we need to do. We need to power on and set up the bin for this. So I'm going to power it up first and I'll be back then. So that is build complete. Something else that I'd like to mention is I'd recommend having a power breaker. So the way this works is just when I connect this wire to here, the entire system will turn on. And the way I have it all wired up is I have them all going on the side of the foundation, which I then have going to this light post and going back up through here, just to make it look nice. And you can put the um, wall outlets on the roof, which is really good. And then something else I'd like to mention is something I'd recommend doing is when you've set up the um, storage container, I recommend setting up like a little bit like this so you can have a awesome sink and just set up a smart splitter and you're just going to set this so all of the overflow will go straight into this system so just going to set it for this instance to the right to overflow so now as soon as this bin is full which with 60 per minute i'm already turning the system on 60 per minute, this spin will fill up very quick, so you'll get plenty of points. 